Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Rome 2, DEI Divide et Impera. Here today on the channel, we're back with episode 5 of our Mauryan Empire Indian campaign. Here today, we're still slowly but surely expanding our influence and territory into Persia and hopefully into Arabia. Um, depending on a fair few factors here today. Um, so, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Alrighty, so we've managed to take essentially the most of the coastal territory in southern Persia. We are slowly but surely pushing into the interior. We have actually slinked past the Sada forces there. They've actually attacked and done battle with our Hagar allies. So the Arabians are currently fighting each other, the two tribes. And now hopefully us Indians can swoop on in and uh, take over their city. That'd be nice. Okay, so we're currently not at war with anyone. So Hagar is at war with Sada. So we're going to negotiate with Hagar. And we're going to be able to get a massive payment for that. So really, in Rome 2, in DEI, you should never really war deck people straight out. You should always look for a enemy of them, join their side, farm relations, and potentially get some money from it. So, very rare circumstances do you want to straight up war deck someone. So, we're going to be able to move on into Maghrib at the moment, secure the spice port. Now, that is a crazy order resolve, and I am going to absolutely take it. We have 5,000 here with Ashoka, and we're going to be able to march on in. It's a walled city, so we're definitely going to take the order resolve on that one. Most of this army is made up of Arabian auxiliaries, which is nice. We can recruit them from the local pop. And then we've got our Indian infantry as well. So, two full stacks pushed out. It looks like they've done battle. I can't see exactly where they are in the fog of war. Um, but now we have an opportunity to nearly take all of Southern Arabia for ourselves. So, there's some pretty decent... Before you say anything, oh, okay. I Resources. I could sue for peace. Oh. Should I do it? Because then, but then, uh, we might get some money. Look, you know what? I'm not. Um, what about these guys? I don't want to go to war with them. I don't want to push too far up into Arabia Magna. Because we don't want to butt up against Nabatia. And the Ptolemy in this other conflict up here. The Qudari, I think that's how you say it. And we're still keeping an eye on that other path in front. So we're currently dealing with two fronts at the moment. Okay, let's end the turn and continue. Welcome to the top of the turn. Sada hasn't made any moves. So we should have a battle against them at some point, whenever those armies come back. But so far, this Arabian expedition has worked out well. It was pretty sketchy early on. We did have a Pyrrhic victory. We actually had a defeat early on. Okay, so... They're pushing into Hagar. They might not be able to take it. If we can get the AI to essentially <laughs> grind down Sada, and we can push on in and just take the territory, we're laughing. That's what we want. We might actually be able to take the entire... It actually might be worth abandoning this or be, potentially abandoning it, putting it risky. We can't afford that spice route there. That's what we need, though. There's actually a wonder here. I didn't know that. Um, it might be better off to take all their territory because that will start them uh, attriting. And then if they can rot away by the time they come back to their capital, we're basically won. Because they're going to push through the desert as well um, to try and get back. And we'll build up here. Okay, so... Those two full stacks asked... Oh, so they won. Okay, so her guard didn't defeat them. They still have two operational. Ooh, Bactri is push, um, posturing here. Oh, they've got two full stacks. Okay, so I was going to say, maybe we're going to go to war with Parthava over Parthia. But, yeah, maybe the Bactrians are going to come. Okay. But so far, we've got pretty secure borders. We've actually managed to make strong alliances with media and Hagar. We've been quite fortunate in that. Just how those wars have broken out. And we've picked a side. So, I just can't wait to see how this Indian campaign goes, to be honest. We're not making as much money as I would like. Because we're really relying on local industry. Agriculture, we can't really rely on because there's just not much here. And we're focusing on getting our food from fishing at the moment. So, we're not really trading overly too much. 
We do have a lot of armies in the field with numbers. Numerically strong, but... It's going to be interesting. Okay, um, let's end the turn and continue. We'll see if Bactri attack. We could have a battle against them or Pathava, who knows. Okay, welcome to the top of the turn. Slowly but surely increasing in rank. Another child is born, perfect. Just what we'd like to see. A little bit of attrition there. So, they can't seem to take Hagar, okay. Oh, okay, so there's a fair few armies operating there. Okay, so we should be able to send Ahsoka down to Yemen. Oh, that's another good order resolve. Maybe the unit roster isn't as good with Sada compared to Hagar and whatnot. We're going to take these, though, any day. I'm not going to manually play those. There's so many military encampments here. Oh, and our food situation has just gone terribly bad. Minus three. So that's going to affect our forces on the other front there. Hinduism is on the rise, but the desert nomads. Technically, I'm just calling them Arabs because I guess they're technically tribal nomads at the moment. They haven't united and pushed up through the peninsula, but proto-Arabs, whatever. If you want to be precise. Okay. So, let's get a farm here, Galen. We just don't have a high yield. Um, I think... Oh, we can, we can switch to import, but it's only going to get us one. Plus one, again. Two's better than nothing, because it's three. Yeah, we're just going to have to be really quite careful here. If I push to the border, can I maybe push for Susa? Hmm. We just need more food, so we kind of need more territory. Objective issues. We're getting a little bit of money, but we're currently hemorrhaging cash and we're in a really bad food situation. We are investing in a navy, finally. Okay, so... We currently have a defensive alliance with Hagar, still at war with Sada. Can't get a military alliance with them, just looking to diplomacy. Got pretty good relations with Media and Nabatia. Can I get more? No. Only if I join a war, potentially. Does seem like... There might be some negotiations here. So at the moment, I can't see us having a battle anytime soon unless Sada pushes for our territory. Potentially Bactria attacks us or we attack Partharva. This could be a DEI management type e episode, potentially. We'll see. Okay, so we've just done so well down here in Arabia. They're currently raiding. Spies wise, so now this is perfect. Now they're coming back. Let's just sabotage this. If we can get the RNG here, unfortunately we failed. But this is perfect. They pushed against Hagar. We slunk around the back. We took the settlements and now they're slowly but surely rotting away. I don't think that is enough to retake that. So although we are a little bit attrited in that army, actually quite a lot, except for the Arabian. The, obviously the Indian um, ethnic units and conscripts. We can't replenish, but the Arabs we can. Yeah, we really should make sure to keep the Indian roster on this front and the Arabian roster on the other, because it's just going to take so long. Uh, we also have access to elephants here now, and we've got a higher tier mercenary unit from the encampments. So we can get more allied units eventually. Um, and we've got some mercenaries here we can have access to. So at the moment, we're... Just pushing to more of a advanced position. I haven't decided who we're going to go against. We could be redeclaring war upon Parthava. We did have a short war, only because they um allied with Zangred, but we wiped them so quick that they managed to panic. Oh, they're really expanding. That war was so many factions though, and Hagar like us. So could I join their war? Maybe I should. Because they are moving about quite a bit. Look, you know what? Okay, I'm going to try and do it. Maybe we do have to war deck them. Is there anyone else? Maybe Nabatia? Oh, they've actually lost some of their core territory. They're moving into Jordan now. Hmm. Maybe negotiate with Ptolemy? That might keep the... You know what, that actually might keep the Bactrians off my back. Yeah, so let's do that. And 
We'll push into Susa because we really want to try and get that silk. Okay, let's move in. Nice. That's another good auto resolve. It's just the garrison too much. Not a proper army. We'll take um, that. Yeah, I think so. Nice, close victory. Yeah, no need to play that one. We're episode 5 in. Uh, we're at a stage in the campaign where we eventually want to go and fight the successor states. And we want to eventually get to Greece and Western Europe. So we don't want to spend too long here in the Far East just carving up similar Persian factions. Okay, let's move you up here. Um, let's eventually move you just past there. Um, we'll just need to keep a watchful eye on Bactria. Let's end the turn and continue. Alrighty, welcome to the top of the turn. Oh, we've had a rebellion there in Messgate. Um, gotta watch out for those pirates. Still in a really bad food situation. They did trespass Bactria, but then maybe they moved back. Um... Spice Importer, potentially. Okay, let's move you back to Maghreb. And I think we've just gamed Zada. Uh, if we got like two crit successes on that, they would have been even further disrupted in the desert. Our dignitaries are looking well. Food is just a really bad issue at the moment. That we need to fix. Uh, actually, you know, I'm going to move my navy across to Arabia because if we have to manually play that, mm, those rebels are going to be an issue. Um, let's push against this smaller army here, and we don't want to overextend too much. But if we can allow Media and Parthava to push, uh, Parthia to push against Parthava, that would be ideal because they have some territory here. So, essentially, just literally dividing and conquer the vassal states seems to be working. But, yeah, I'm surprised that, like, some Persian states actually quite like us for doing that. You'd think they'd be upset with their cultural affinity. Maybe not. Okay. So, buildings-wise, yeah, I think we just need to maybe not be too militaristic. So, we're eventually going to fix this food situation. We just need to upgrade... Uh, fishing. Oh, we need a military wharf here. We need industry. Grain pit. That's helping us project over. It's just because we've acquired so many big cities so quickly. That market should be a fishing port eventually. Yeah, just food. Oh my god, we're, we're minusing so many. We just need food and we need it quick. We're in a bad situation. Judy calls. Oh, okay. I was like, who died? Oh, okay. It was from attrition. They got so low. Yikes. Oh, my God. That was nearly a thousand men to attrition there. That's so bad. Come on. Third time's a charm. Hey! We managed to sabotage them. Perfect. So we've somehow managed to take the entirety of Southern Arabia quite shrewdly. So it did work out, but that's why I was a little bit cautious in recommending that approach, pushing into Arabia at the start of this campaign, because it's just tricky. <laughs> we were quite fortunate um, gaming side of there. Um, we were even quite lucky, even though we lost that first initial battle in on the coast there of Amman. We needed two full stacks. It's just like invading Carthage. It's just like North Africa. It's just like logistically hard if you're coming over from mainland Europe. All right, let's end the turn and continue. Ready to command. He's now back. Trade agreement dissolved. Food shortage still. So. Yeah, uh, oh wait, they declared war upon them? That's weird. That farm's been constructed as well, which is pretty good. 
Okay, let's move up here. So let's negotiate with media. Oh, they actually love us. Nice. Military access. I'll give you that because we border them. Non-aggression. They're going to give me some money? Hell yeah. No, wait. Why so much? Oh, because we're at war with a fair few factions. Well, let's continue to farm this. Excellent. Can I get a defensive? Not quite. Maybe if I join another war. So it looks like the Persians in media are going to be our staunch ally. Hagar seems to be just really loyal. Wait, Parthava? Why, did pa Why does Parthava like us? Ptolemy's looking pretty good. We can negotiate directly with Armenia. Oh, military access with Ptolemy. That'll be good. Because by proxy, it's not going to let our Bactrian relations dip further. Uh, let's negotiate with the Quidri. On behalf of my I think that's how you say it. I don't know. These guys seem to be stronger than Nabatia at the moment. They might even take over. Alright, so this is what we currently occupy. A Bordegore kingdom. <laughs> so it looks like a different set of Indians rule the Arabian Peninsula, essentially. Uh, Diplomacy-wise, still got an alliance with Hagar. Still with Saba. Sada, Saba. Um, can I push out and crush them? Okay, we're just farming them at the moment because they're so weak. Our spies are working quite well. And Ashoka. Ah, oh, well that's disappointing. <laughs> yeah, no point of playing that one either. Ah, oh, well, doesn't seem like we're going to get a battle here today. We've been playing for over an hour or so. Just turn times and DEI just takes so long. I do tend to edit down these episodes at the loading times and turn timers and stuff so you can have more digestible bite-sized content because everyone attention, everyone's attention span has gone to well, mush since TikTok. So. Um... That's growing, unfortunately. But yeah, I guess sometimes you just have economical management episodes. No battles. We've been outgunned, outmatched, and looking to lose. Nothing too tricky, so we'll take the auto resolves. Compared to earlier in the series, there were some flashpoints and trickier fights. And we're just really just gaming <laughs> the AI at the moment making our allies fight most of the armies while we push and take the cities. Food shortage is still an issue. We are slowly fixing that though. With those nomadic camps. Okay, so some borders have changed here. Quidri, Nabatia, Persia's expanded, uh, Media has expanded. The Median Persians. Um, I could move my spy up here. I don't think they've got any more units up here. Um, that is going to be a concern. That rebellion. I don't know how I'm going to get an army over there. We are starting to get some pretty bad attrition here as well. So we've got two full stacks in the north. Um, maybe we look to try and go for that. Got another army on the way. So that's nearly three full stacks. Just food is an issue still. I have noticed a severe lack of mercenaries available compared to the West. I guess we can... Oh, it's going to take five turns to get there. Are you kidding me? I guess we should go for it. Oh, nice. We, start, we are starting to get some access to the Indian units, but not a crazy amount. And we go with the slave trader here as well. Southern Arabia has a lot of good resources. We just need to trade it out. Okay, so they're now gone. We're only at war with Pathava. Alright, let's do another turn. One more turn. One more turn. One more turn. Um, yeah. Just duty calls because our generals are just getting so low that they can't properly command. There's been a fire and bam. Bam. Fire. Okay. It's annoying. Oh, we can't afford to repair it either. Alright, well, 
unfortunately on that note it's probably time to wrap things up here um, we're not going to have another battle for quite some time because I can see us burning a fair few more turns because our armies have just weakened <laughs> our food situation needs to get back on track we've dropped it down to minus 9 but it's just going to take a little bit of time um, we might have to fight that rebel army but we'll see but anyway unfortunately got to wrap things up like, subscribe all that good YouTube stuff comment for the comment gods uh, become a YouTube member if you want it's whatever. Uh, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. I'll see you with uh, episode 6 coming out soon. Where I'll make sure to get a battle in. Goodbye.